Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash true off my chest where OP's fiance is very upset that they're breaking up after being inappropriate with their younger brother. What? Demonetize. There you go ladies and gentlemen. Trigger warning. Let's begin. My fiance is being inappropriate towards my younger brother and I think our relationship is over. Posted by Reddit user ThrowRA8910. I'm yelling into the void because I have no one to talk to and it's so messed up. I'm using fake names to make it less confusing. I posted in a different subreddit on Christmas Eve looking for advice, and some of the background is copied from that. My stepbrother Tim has been part of my family since he was a little boy. I am obviously quite a bit older than him but we have always been very close. Even though we aren't related by blood he's always been my little brother. I have been with my fiancé Mike for 10 years so he knows Tim very well, and he has always been very fond of him. They have always spent time together joking and playing around so that's not weird. I have always thought Mike saw Tim as a little brother. Tim has always been a sweet bubbly type of kid. He's very friendly and affectionate. He went through a period when he was around 16 when he seemed quite sad and withdrawn. Then when he was 17 he came out as bisexual, and he seemed much happier and more confident once he opened up. Lately he has been back to his usual self. I've noticed he can be quite flirty with certain people, usually my friends. I don't think he means anything by it. It seems like he just finds it fun and enjoys getting some attention. He's a very good looking boy and people tend to flirt back. I've had to tell off a few of my friends but there's only been one occasion when someone has been seriously out of line. I had to cut out one of my female friends entirely because she was extremely inappropriate with him from the age of 16 and acted on it when he was barely 17. I'm overprotective of him because of what happened because I partly blame myself. Tim doesn't direct his flirtiness at Mike. However, over the last few months I've noticed Mike tends to involve himself when Tim is having those kinds of interactions with someone else. It wasn't blatant enough to say for sure it was intentional but it was enough that I noticed and started being more watchful. Since then I've noticed other things. Mike can be quite physical with Tim, hugging him, ruffling his hair, tickling him. That wasn't unusual when Tim was younger but he's 18 now and it seems slightly out of place. Mike has asked him some really personal questions about sex then acted like he was just kidding around to embarrass Tim when I told him to cut it out. For example, he has asked Tim how he masturbates or what he thinks about when he's doing it. To me that's totally inappropriate. Then recently there have been two separate occasions when I've noticed Mike browsing Tim's Instagram, which has a lot of photos of him, then he seemed guilty when he saw I was there. I know it doesn't sound like much but I was getting such a strange vibe from Mike when he's around Tim and I couldn't ignore it. Then we all spent Christmas Day together. To cut a long story short, we had a huge argument on which led me to believe my suspicions were correct and we are not currently on speaking terms. I'm staying with family but they are unaware of the whole story. I'll try not to make this unnecessarily complicated. Please ask if anything is unclear. I didn't have a chance to speak to anyone in my family about my concerns before we all spent Christmas together and it didn't seem like it would be appropriate timing anyway. Mike and I were due to spend the day at my mom and stepdad's home. My Tim still lives there full time. We live nearby so we weren't staying over. My mom mentioned the day before that Tim was inviting a friend whose family doesn't celebrate. That isn't an unusual situation so I didn't think anything of it. When Mike and I arrived, Tim's friend was already there. They were both very friendly and polite then after a while they went to play video games together in the main seating area. It was quite obvious they either liked each other or were already dating. They were awkwardly flirting with each other and holding hands when they thought no one was looking. Everyone apart from Mike thought it was cute. Mike was extremely quiet and snappy for more or less the entire time we were there. He was drinking more than usual. I was driving so I didn't drink at all and my parents only had a drink or two so it stood out. He snapped at me when I asked what was wrong and when I suggested he slow down. It was very uncomfortable. My mom and Tim were both getting anxious. Tim's friend seemed confused. My stepdad was obviously losing patience with Mike's behavior. We ended up leaving right after dinner because I was so uncomfortable, and he was silent the whole journey home. When we got back I asked him what the hell his problem was. I don't remember precisely what was said so I'm mostly paraphrasing. He said he guessed that he was the only one who noticed what a rude little shit Tim was being, and that he ignored everyone and spent the whole day making out with his friend. He used a very aggressive tone of voice and sarcastic air quotes when he said friend. I told him that was totally untrue and even if it wasn't I couldn't understand why he would be so irate about my little brother paying more attention to his friend than him. I asked him why he's been so weird about Tim, but I made absolutely no reference to the specific concerns I've been having. 
Mike completely lost his temper and said are you saying you think I want to fuck your little brother? Or something similar. It was a bizarre outburst and he said some very unpleasant, graphic things which he decided I was accusing him of. This was unprompted by me and I don't see how he would have jumped straight to that conclusion unless there was an element of truth to it. I don't remember exactly what I said in response. I didn't really challenge him and I told him he was scaring me. He went to the spare room and slammed the door. I drove back to my parents' place and told them we had a fight. I've been staying there since. I told Mike we need to talk and he said I agree but he's barely been in contact and hasn't responded to any of my suggestions of when we could talk. I have no idea what's happening. My family are obviously aware something is wrong but I haven't fully explained it and I don't know how. They have noticed it's directed at Tim but they seem to think it's due to homophobia rather than anything else. Tim is upset and worried. I really don't know how honest I should be with him. I don't even know for sure what Mike's issue is. I've told him he's done nothing wrong and it's Mike's problem. Obviously, Mike and I haven't made any decision about our relationship because we've barely spoken. It doesn't look positive. I don't know if I could feel the same about him after how he's behaved. His strange behavior around Tim is also one of several things I've been worried about and his outburst scared me no matter what cost it. I don't know what the hell to do. I'm open to suggestions. Thanks. Edit. I'm not sure where to start as I wasn't expecting anywhere near this many comments but I wanted to address some of the points being raised. I know I've been sent some private messages, but I can't read them without using the app and I'm paranoid that if I use the app it will link this to my main account. A lot of people suggested Mike may have harmed Tim in some way when he was younger. I can't say for sure, I haven't asked Tim. Obviously I don't want to believe that could have happened but I realize even people we love and trust can sometimes be capable of doing awful things. I never had any concerns about how Mike acted when Tim was younger. There are also a lot of things going on for Tim that we are already aware of that explain why he was sad and withdrawn. I've never had any impression before now that Mike was confused about his sexuality. If that's something he's struggling with it's possible that that's what's causing him to lash out. I've also never known him to be homophobic but I can't 100% rule that out as a possibility either. As bad as it sounds, homophobia would be preferable to the alternatives. I posted this as a comment but I'll add it here. When I say Tim is flirty, I don't mean he's sexually inappropriate in any way. He's an awkward teenage boy. It's mainly things like expressions and body language. It's obvious because he's not very good at it. It's normal for teenagers to act like that at times. It doesn't bother me too much if people think it's funny or cute but grown adults should be able to restrain themselves around a teenage boy batting his eyelashes at them. Not literally, but hopefully you get my point. If he crossed any lines or did anything to make someone uncomfortable or himself unsafe, obviously I would speak to him about that but to my knowledge he's never come close. I will talk to my parents and Tim today, I just need to figure out what to say. I agree that honesty is best. I'll look into legal advice on how to move forward with Mike. Obviously we aren't yet married, we don't have kids, pets or a mortgage. We do have a shared tenancy and a joint account for bills but that's it. I don't think the relationship has a future regardless of where his anger is coming from. I still want to speak to him though. Update. The situation is far from being fully resolved but this will be my last update. I wanted to make a final post because I received so much advice and supportive comments which I was grateful for. It has been a very confusing and difficult time. I posted shorter updates on my profile after talking to my ex-fiancé Mike and my brother Tim. These are here and here. I will try to summarize as briefly as I can. Mike contacted me and said that he wanted to talk but would prefer to explain himself in writing first to allow him to express himself more calmly. He said I know what you think this is and I understand why but I promise it's not like that. In his email he said he experienced confusion about his sexuality when he was a teenager. He had a difficult experience. Rejection and losing a friendship and ended up never addressing those feelings and trying to hide and ignore that aspect of himself. He said that Tim coming out brought out a lot of confusing feelings and he admitted that he did initially believe he was attracted to Tim or jealous of people Tim was interested in and he admitted he did think about him sexually. He said he never would have acted on this and he was disgusted with himself for thinking that way. He said he now realizes that he is envious because he regrets never exploring when he was Tim's age and seeing him now makes him feel bitter, especially seeing him with his friend slash boyfriend. He apologized for his behavior and for lashing out the way he did. He wanted me to speak to him before I spoke to Tim or my family which I didn't agree to. Ultimately the fact that he has been struggling with his sexuality doesn't change the fact that he has been experiencing sexual attraction to my teenage brother and has been speaking to him inappropriately and having angry outbursts. After I received the email, I spoke to Tim. I apologized for Mike's behavior at Christmas 
and I asked him if he'd noticed Mike behaving strangely or making him uncomfortable before now. He said yes, he thinks Mike has been acting differently around him since he came out. He mentioned the very intrusive personal questions as an example without any prompting. I agreed that it was completely inappropriate for Mike to talk to him like that. He said he didn't want to make a big deal over it because he knows some straight people get overly curious, but he didn't seem fully convinced by that. I told him I was very concerned about how Mike was speaking to him and behaving around him and I asked him if he'd done or said anything else to make him uncomfortable. He said there was nothing big and he didn't want to imagine Mike would ever do that or view him in that way. He said he has felt uncomfortable at times at things he said or the way he's been looking at him or talking to him, but he felt bad for feeling that way. I tried to reassure him that he's done nothing wrong and it's completely unacceptable for Mike treating him that way and he isn't wrong to feel uncomfortable. I tried to encourage him to open up but he didn't want to. At the time, I wasn't sure how much information to give him because I didn't want to overwhelm him. I told him Mike and I are no longer together and I asked him to tell me if Mike tries to contact him in any way because I'm concerned about his behavior and his lack of respect for Tim's boundaries. I brought up social media to remind Tim to be cautious about his privacy settings and block Mike. I asked if Mike ever interacted with his social media, and he said no. I didn't want to bring up that I'd seen Mike looking at his Instagram because Tim was already upset, and I thought the most important thing was just to make sure he's safe for now. I asked him if he had questions or wanted to know more and he was definite that he didn't. He kept apologizing. I did my best to reassure him that none of it is his fault. After he'd had a little time to process what we had already discussed, I asked if we could talk more and he agreed. To keep it brief, he is now aware of everything I have discussed in my post and my updates. My mum and stepdad are also aware. It was an extremely difficult conversation. Tim is confused and hurt. Our parents are understandably furious. I had expected them to be angry with me for putting Tim at risk but fortunately they weren't, at least not outwardly. Everyone is feeling a lot of guilt. Tim is blaming himself regardless of how much we reassure him. My parents and I are blaming ourselves for not recognizing what was happening. Tim was adamant that Mike hadn't done anything else that we aren't already aware of. However, the way he expressed this was by saying things like it was nothing serious or it was stupid really. He admitted that there were multiple occasions that he felt uncomfortable because Mike got far too close, was looking at him very intently, or put his hand on his leg or touched his face. He said it felt very uncomfortable but he didn't think it was enough to be certain that he was being inappropriate. I have ended my relationship with Mike. Initially he was calm and said he understood. However, I've since had to clearly explain that I am not the right person to provide him with emotional support right now. I gave him a couple of suggestions of people or services he could speak to and I have now blocked him. Where possible, I'm hoping to deal with the practical matters like our tenancy through a third party. I want as little contact with him as possible. I haven't thought about what to say to mutual friends. However, my closest friends are people I met through work who don't know him well so I won't be isolated. That's about all I can say. I appreciate the advice and support I received. Final update. I noticed yesterday that I'm still signed into this account and I've still been getting some messages which I wasn't expecting. I decided to do a short update since a few people are still concerned. Mike, I haven't spoken to him directly since I last updated. I've been dealing with practical issues via his older cousin. She is aware of the basic details of our breakup. So far as I can tell, she wants to support him to get help but doesn't seem interested in making excuses for him or condoning his behavior. I have had some legal advice regarding finances and tenancy, but so far things have been reasonably straightforward and Mike seems to be cooperating. He hasn't tried to contact me since I blocked him and to my knowledge he hasn't tried to contact Tim either. Tim, he is putting on a brave face, but I'm concerned about him. He is very reluctant to talk about Mike's behavior towards him and I think he is still minimizing it. I suggested he could speak to a therapist and he agreed straight away. On one level that's obviously a positive thing because he needs the support, and it's better if he doesn't feel pushed into it. However, it also concerns me because it is very unlike Tim to agree that he needs to speak to someone. He very rarely admits when there's something wrong and I suspect it means he's really struggling. He is adamant nothing happened beyond what we are already aware of and even though I'm not confident about that I'm not going to push him. He has been a little more open about the level of his discomfort despite not wanting to acknowledge that Mike's behavior was serious. He admitted that he's been having recurring nightmares for over a year about Mike making advances or being sexually inappropriate towards him, then afterwards feeling guilty for being scared of Mike for no reason. It sounds like he's been subconsciously picking up on Mike's behavior, but trying to ignore it. It breaks my heart that he's been holding on to this for so long. 
I'm beyond disgusted by Mike for putting him in this situation and I'm furious with myself for not recognizing it sooner. On a positive note, I've gotten to know his new boyfriend a little better. They're extremely cute together. His boyfriend is around a year older and he seems very supportive and sensible. They met through a LGBT plus board games club Tim has been going to lately. His boyfriend is aware of what's been going on and actually made a fairly accurate assessment of the situation just from observing Mike's behavior at Christmas. I'm very glad that Tim has him to talk to even if he's not comfortable fully opening up to me. Me, I'm still waiting for the full emotional impact to hit. I'm much more concerned about Tim right now. Other than that, I'm focusing on the practical issues like finding somewhere permanent to live, and I'm throwing myself into work. I have supportive friends and my family are fantastic. I've made an appointment to speak to a therapist in a couple of weeks' time because I think it will be needed. I'm angry with myself for not picking up on the signs much sooner and for trusting Mike. But aside from that I have no regrets about how I've dealt with the situation and feelings about the end of my relationship are completely unambiguous. I don't think there's anything more to update on. I just hope my brother is able to open up about how he's feeling and work through the completely misplaced guilt he's feeling. OP, I understand that you have a lot of guilt for not seeing this sooner, but you get major props for picking up on it, realizing something didn't seem right, addressing it, and then completely removing Mike from your life. And in my opinion, you should have no guilt simply due to the fact that you responded correctly and quickly. It's hard to think that someone that you have loved could have been capable of such terrible things, but you noticed that it could happen and took action very swiftly. I am so happy for you and Tim have such a great family and friends around you that support you guys through all of this. And OP, I sincerely wish you and Tim good luck and healing in the future. It sounds like Tim has found someone to support him and makes him very happy and safe. You will definitely find the same person too. Well done, OP. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos which will always be here on my YouTube channel for you to watch absolutely free. So consider clicking that super thanks just below the video title or you can use my PayPal in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.